They say absence makes the heart grow fonder. Well, in this case, that absence is helping to mend a broken heart. On today's case, Mrs. Holmes says she's been much happier and healthier since separating from her husband eight months ago. She says his blatant disregard for her feelings, his constant verbal abuse, and his inability to be a provider have finally proven to be too much for her. And she's made up her mind. She wants a divorce. Mr. Holmes says divorce is not an option for him because when his wife said, I do, that meant forever. Mr. Holmes admits to running away from some of their problems, but says he's here today to win his wife back. Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Holmes versus Holmes. Thank you very much. Mr. and Mrs. Holmes. Ms. Holmes, you're here today because you are fed up with your husband's antics and you want a divorce. You say that your husband is financially unstable and a manipulator who disappears for hours on end whenever you two argue. You say you've had it with his immature behavior and he can go ahead and play house with another woman. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Holmes, you say you're here today because you've invested 10 years into this relationship and you are not ready to give up. You say you have apologized for anything you might have said or done, and you want to move forward away from your past mistakes. That's correct, Your Honor. Okay, so I'm trying to see how this relationship that has lasted for nine years, married for four and a half years, but you all have been separated for eight months. Ms. Holmes, what's bringing you here to divorce court? Okay, so I'm here in divorce court today because he is disrespectful, um, unstable, and broke. Disrespectful, unstable, and broke is... A big accusation. Mr. Holmes, what do you say? Well, Your Honor, I'm here because I don't want a divorce. You know, I committed a lot of time to our marriage and trying to make things work. You know, I do anything to make her happy um, and fix our relationship and our problems. I'm willing to work on them. The last eight months of my life has just been a living hell. You know, I've been from pillar to post, just really wanted to come back home and make things work out. Well, Mr. Holmes says he thinks that this can be worked out. Mrs. Holmes, Let's start with the thing that I know most couples struggle with, and that's finances. Why do you say he's broke and not helpful with what he, his financial responsibilities are? My main concern is, um, you know, I pay majority of the bills. I pay the rent, the higher cost of things. Um, you know, he had to pay smaller cost of things, like the utilities. Okay. Um, for instance, one time, um, you know, we had a gas bill due. Um, instead of paying that, he went and bought a PlayStation game that cost $50. So we were left without gas. Um, we had to go to his grandparents' house, shower there, uh, get space heaters, you know, cover up with three or four blankets. And, you know, um, I just feel like that we shouldn't be going through that at, you know, our age, and he should step up to the plate more. Y'all are in your 30s. Exactly. So what's the problem, Mr. Holmes? Um... We both have an income. You know, at the time, she was making more money than me. Yeah, but wait a minute. She made it very clear. She pays the big bills. You're supposed to pay the smaller bills, but the smaller bills are the ones that keep the lights on. Yeah. Keep I, the I, gas flowing. Keep the water going. That's right. So, so well, how, did the, how did the gas get turned off in your house? Well, the thing is, you know, I get complained for buying a video game. It's just a video game. No, 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 sir. These, That's these... A, she don't care what you spent the money on. You spent it, and it didn't pay the gas bill. That's what she's really complaining about. Well, the thing was, you know, when you got a wife, you know, that she likes to go out and, and party and go to bars and have her nails done and get her eyelashes and her makeup and everything. Why the gas get turned off, sir? That cuts That's the third time I asked, Robert. That's the third time I asked. Why the gas get turned off? That cuts into finances and everything. And, you know, sometimes you lose sight of, you know, your responsibilities when you prioritize and your wife's happiness over those okay, things. Okay, I'm... Uh, mm, nope, 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 nope. Every family has a dynamic where everybody's supposed to do their part. And I don't care what part you all decide you're going to do. If your one part is you need to take care of the utilities, she needs to not worry about whether or not when she hit the faucet, whether the water gonna come out. When she go to the stove, whether or not the flame is gonna come up. She shouldn't have to worry about any of that. That's, that's what a grown man does, sir. Well, you know, the gas bill was getting higher and higher in cost because of the, you know, the extra time that she'd take with the, with the hair dryers and the makeup and all the mirror time and, 
just the extra cosmetic care. You know you sound silly as hey, a mug. It's, that's how that's how No, but you sound work. silly as a mug. You really do. How much was the gas bill, Ms. Holmes? Between, couldn't have been more than $50, $60. The point is, it's not just that one bill. It's indicative of what the problem is. Correct. Either way, financially, it impacted on your family, is what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, and, and that's what I'm saying. He's, he's disrespectful. He okay. is. He gets disrespectful. What he, do you mean by that? Because people okay. use that word a lot. What does it what mean? What I mean by that is, okay, so we went, to, we went out to eat. We finally moved. We, we were living in a hotel. We finally got an apartment. We go out to eat. My phone rings. It ring, it ring, it ring. I step out because it's the leasing office calling us, um, you know, regarding us just moving in. So I went outside to answer the call. He says that I had an issue before that, but I know what it was. He thought that I was on the phone with another man, with somebody. I don't know who he thought it was. But what happened? I come back into the Waffle House and sit down, and this man, my husband, the man that I married, the one that I thought in a million years would never disrespect me like this, throws his coke in my face. I can I tell my version of this Waffle House incident, y'all? It doesn't matter. So you're at you're at a restaurant, okay? It doesn't matter where it is. It's just you at a public restaurant. What happened? All right. So you know, once you with somebody for a certain amount of time, they know how to push your buttons. I mean, before we even made it to this restaurant this particular afternoon, we had already had a back and forth, and um, you know, you know, I. The, the argument got pretty, pretty toxic. Um, she proceeded to just antagonize me through our sit-down at this restaurant. And, and uh, what did you do, sir? Yes, I did. I did throw my beverage in her face, and that was very disrespectful and rude. I apologized to everybody at the restaurant. I tipped the server. Um, I even apologized to her on the phone because by that time, I had walked off to just kind of cool down. Well, I walk up to my door and my door is kicked in. He is in the apartment on the bed sleeping like nothing happened. She was just killing the whole vibe of the whole night, entire so night. So she annoyed you? I was just so upset, I just kicked my door open and I went in there and laid down. That, that makes no sense for me to kick my own door in, but I was just, just, just tired. Why are you so mad? Why are you so angry? So wait a minute, wait a minute. I just want to be real clear with the dynamic. You're at a public restaurant, you throw a drink in your wife's face, and you're still so angry that you turn and walk away and leave her sitting in a public restaurant humiliated because her man just threw a drink in her face. I just wanted to get right. the scenario. For example, we went out to a club with my friends, okay? Um, he has a drink or two. I don't know what it was. Something happened. And he, he, he got in, a little embarrassing. I don't know if he maybe just had one too many drinks, whatnot. Um, we got into a little argument. Um, so I turn around, he's gone. Of course, I go out and I look after, you know, where did he go, where did he go? He's nowhere to be found. A little while goes by, we end up leaving, we go home. <laughs> um, well, I walk up to my door and my door is kicked in. At the, at, the, at the new place where you just... Yeah, at our new apartment. The, the mm -hmm. apartment? Yes. Y'all gonna get thrown out. <laughs> he is in the apartment, on the bed, sleeping like nothing happened. Like he was just like everything was perfectly fine. May, may I have an opportunity to yes, tell my version of this story? Yes, absolutely. So we all go out, everything seemingly normal, and we were by a bar area, and I was just so happy to be standing like in a walkway. I was accused of standing at an angle that females would bump into my shoulder as He's they walk by. Use it that was the as most excuse. irrational accusation that I had ever been accused of. Oh, okay, God. so and what would really, you do? She was just killing the whole vibe of the whole night entire so night. So she annoyed you? Very much so. Okay. And I just left. Okay. I ended up walking home. And I didn't have my car keys or my house keys, anything. I was just so upset, I just kicked my door open and I went in there and laid down. Yes, that, that's, that, that makes no sense for me to kick my own door in, but I was just, just, just tired. Okay, so Mr. Holmes, now you've now told me two instances where your behavior is manifested by anger and you do some things that in hindsight even you know are not good. Why are you so mad? Why are you so angry? I mean, I'm human, man. Nobody is perfect, you know? No, no. We, we you, always, you, but we you don't always, get to throw that at, at me. We Nobody's always, perfect. Why are you so mad? We always, you know, talk about 
the way a person responded, but we don't always talk about what made a person act the way That's they That's what I'm asking did. you. Well, I, I asked you, why are you so mad? What's going on? At a certain on? point in our relationship, I was constantly accused of doing things that I just wasn't guilty of doing. And it just, sometimes it just got the best of me in a few moments, and when it got bad, it just got mm. very bad. And you, and you manifest that frustration, is probably the right word, with angry outbursts, it seems. I actually brought the divorce papers today. Yep, You're over yep. it, aren't you? The papers have been filled out. The only thing that is not on this paper is a signature. If you are interested in signing those papers and getting this process started, let me see what you're doing. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. I'm afraid that volatile anger can turn into something that's dangerous. Well, I would definitely never harm my wife or anyone else. Um, you know, a lot of situations where I have outbursts, it's never me getting into a physical altercation with anyone. It's just, I, I just react. Do you understand how that would probably make your wife concerned and... Yes, and, definitely. And definitely. literally, I don't want to be with you if you're going to act like this. Does that I'm, at least make sense? I'm, I'm willing to work on my anger issues with my wife if she's willing to, to, to work on, to, to wait for me to fix the issues that I do have, you know? Mrs. Holmes, you said that there have been numerous times, but then there were a couple of times where it just... What made you leave, finally? So, my breaking point... OK, so my, my family lives in a different state. I try to go visit them once or twice a year, and this time that I spend with them is very, very important for me, OK? Um, so, we go up there, <laughs> and I say to him, before we, we even go, hey, you know, you're ready for this, right? We're gonna go hang out, we're gonna have a good time. Yeah, I'm all for it. We go up there um, the first night. Hey, Trev, we're gonna go hang out with my best friend and my cousin. Do you wanna come? No, I don't wanna come. I wanna just hang out here. I'm not gonna come. Okay, so I went out. I'm getting calls at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay, we're adults. We go out, you know, clubs close and where we were pretty late. He starts waking everybody up in the house, stating that he wants to go back to um, his hometown. He's ready to leave. He doesn't want to be there anymore. Um, you know, uh, which was totally disrespectful. You know, you, you had the opportunity to come with us, but you decided not to. So what ended up happening was the next day, he was not there. We had no clue where he was. He was gone. So. I'm like, well, where did he go? He came back. He was drunk. We got into a huge argument. Huge, huge, huge. In front of your family? In front of my family. Nephews, mom, everybody was there. Everyone there, everyone didn't see it. Now, my family loves him, of course, but that's embarrassing. You know, don't do this to me. Not now, not here. So that was really my breaking point. We went, um, not only that, okay. But, but wait, Ms. Holmes, I do need to give Mr. Holmes an opportunity. Thank you. Thank I you. do. I do need to give him an opportunity. Those situations where she went out, she did go out with her friends. But you tell your wife, hey, she, your wife comes to you and say, hey, I want to go out and hang out with my friends who just got back home. I don't ever get to see them. Of course, go ahead, go out. But as you know, I'm thinking as your husband, you're not going to... I'm going to see you again before 3 in the morning. But, Ms. Is... Holmes, let me, let me ask, because I'm going I'm to be on Mr. Holmes' side for just this one situation just for discussion's sake. Mm -hmm. What do you need to be out 3, 4 o'clock in the morning? He... Uh, but, 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 what is going on? We were out at the club. At the streets. We were in the club. In the club. But drinking, did you by any dancing. chance think she left me that about midnight... Let me just no, check in with I my man. I didn't think. I didn't think because he had the opportunity to come. I know, but Miss Holmes... I don't see them ever, so me Okay, spending... but this is your husband. Yeah, I mean, he's I my just husband. need to... I need us to both... Everybody needs okay. to take responsibility for their own behavior. This is your husband. Understandable. But say this, okay? When we are in here, at, in his hometown, he's gotten up multiple times, went out with his friends and left me. And stayed all and night. And stayed all night. I've actually followed him in our car 
to a club. So then, in other words, you're telling me this is your dynamic, well, that y'all go and do whatever y'all want to no, do. No, Your that's... Honor, that's, 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 that's not completely true, as me just being but out all night. But it's true that he the has The times done that, that I have gone times. out with my friends, which is very seldom, because I'm not even, like, an outdoorsy-type person when it comes to just hanging out with buddies. The times that I have gone out with my friends, when it comes time for me to come back into my dwelling, it's, it's like... I know I'm coming in, I'm coming back to an argument. So I'm trying to just, just kind of just wait it out. And I end up having to keep waiting because I know when I get back home, it's gonna That's... be this big You know what? Y'all don't out. have, y'all don't have any children together? No. Do you own a home nope. together? No. Did y'all share the payment of the car or anything like that? We have no longer have that vehicle. Okay, you know what, Ms. Holmes, Mr. Holmes? Y'all are in a toxic relationship. Mm. I'm sorry. There is nothing that seems happy about this relationship. There's a lack of respect on both parts. Um, I, 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 I'm not hearing cheating allegations, but I am hearing just total disrespect and instability. I don't hear anything in common. I don't know why y'all are together. I don't even know why you're fighting to be together. Because, Mr. Holmes, I don't hear love. I don't hear anything that sounds like love in this room. I don't hear your wife say, I want to make this work because I believe that he can be a better man. I don't even hear you say that this is the woman that you love and I'm going to do what is necessary to put my anger in check. You actually saying when I get angry... Well, Your Honor... I actually brought the divorce papers today. Yep, You're over yep. it, aren't you? Because y'all y'all don't even sound like y'all like each other, much less I mean, love you know, each we, other. We went through what we had went through, but you know, all this time, you know, I stayed down for her, I still don't even have a baby, you know? So it's just a lot. Of... What in the world would make you want to bring a child into this volcano? So well, yeah, I didn't yet? give you a baby, but maybe it's you, not hey. me. Woo, okay. I'm looking at this right here. I see. The papers have been filled out. The only thing that is not on this paper is a signature. I don't want to be unhappy in life. It's not about being with someone. It's about finding someone that you love and it's, it's, it, you get the same in return. Ooh, she trying to preach up here so in the So, therefore, room. if it's not with him or with him, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be happy with or without anyone in my life. Robert, mm -hmm. hand uh, Ms. Holmes some papers back. Ms. Holmes, there is a pen. If you are interested in signing those papers and getting this process started, let me see what you're doing. Let me see if you talk a good game or you ready to put your money where your mouth is, mama. Ms. Holmes is for real, Mr. Holmes. Well, I don't plan on signing any papers today. I'm still willing to... You don't to have to sign any papers to today. work with my wife. You Ms. know, just uh, give Robert, some time. will you retrieve those papers? Sure. Because you see what the, what the law says nowadays is that um, it can be an uncontested divorce. So if Ms. Holmes says it's, she's time, it's time to move on, Robert, mm -hmm. let Mr. Holmes see what those papers look like. I mean, he doesn't have to sign papers. a thing, but Those you know what? Mm -hmm. You don't have to sign it, but you got it. It's called You've Been Served. Ms. Holmes, if you want to uh. move forward, put on your pretty shoes and walk on out the door. <laughs> Thank you. Robert, you ever look at somebody and just know they sorry? Just sorry. <laughs> and I don't mean feel sorry, they sorry. Listen, once, once, you, once you disrespect someone and you, you run down that hill of disrespect back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, it's never gonna come back. No, not at all. This boy is sorry, always been sorry, always gonna be sorry. Mm -hmm. And the best thing that ever happened to this young lady mm -hmm. is she strolled right on down that hallway, leave them papers here and right. leave him. Ooh, what kind of sorry individual is that? Mm. <laughs>